Welcome to our today's lesson, our science lesson today. And I promise you that today we are going to look into the advantages of friction and maybe to remind ourselves what we did yesterday. We were trying to see what friction is and we find the friction as uh, the force, force that opposes, opposes motion. The force that opposes motion. So that you are going this direction and then there's another force that is pushing you backward. Like for example, if you try to run when there's wind and then you, you, you run against the wind. Against the wind means if the wind is coming this direction, the direction of wind, you go this direction. So you are running that towards that direction. This wind is going to push you back and so you are going to find it very difficult for you to run against the wind. But if you turn and come on this side and run towards the same direction, you will be pushed here by this wind and you run very easily. So that is a, just an example of uh, uh, how friction hinders motion. We talked about so much yesterday about areas where we can find friction. And there's this one example I gave about a piece of wood and a person a people was trying to push it towards this direction, the direction X. So this is the effort, the effort the person is applying towards that direction. So they are trying to push it towards that direction. Then we have this arrow, another arrow, KM, this is N, uh, uh, N, then of course L. So you ask, where is the, 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 the force of friction? Lana, we said the force of friction is to the opposite side where, where the effort is. So the opposite of this is this side. So the force of friction is labeled N. Just what you need to identify is the effort. Where is the effort being applied? The moment you, have, you, you see where the effort is applied, go to the opposite direction and find the arrow that is going to the opposite of this. The opposite of this is this. You can just draw an arrow like above that. So you look for the arrow that looks like this. Don't look for an arrow that looks like that. That is going to be wrong. So opposite means the other way around. So we said, if you want to place, or we want to measure the, the, the force being applied here, the force being applied here for you to be able to move this, particular piece of wood, you are going to place the, the, the spring balance, the hook is supposed to be where you are assisting the person. So where can you assist from? Are you going to assist going this direction or going this direction? So you place the hook here. The hook is going to be placed there. So a spring balance is going to be at that point. Our spring balance is going to be placed there. So as to measure the force that is going to be to be used here. So when you pull here, you're going to pull towards that direction. See, Lana, you're going the same direction as the effort. So if you're going the same direction as the effort, then you can be able to measure. But if you go opposite direction, you can't be able to measure. So we can't place this here. We can't place it here. We can't place it here. We can only place it here and then pull to that direction. So we can be able to measure uh, uh, the force that is going to be applied in that direction. So Lana, I'm emphasizing on this question because it's a question in the exam. It really comes in the exam. Number one, they ask you, which is the force of friction? Which is the force of friction? I've told you according to our diagram is point N. Where can we place? Where can we place? A spring balance in case you wanted to measure a spring balance in, in case you wanted to measure the, 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 the force used at point X and then where is where is the okay this one is given you don't need to look for it because it's given so these two questions are very very important then they ask you the units used to measure 
Of course, uh, the force is Newton's. That is what I said yesterday. So away from there, Lana, we go to our topic, uh, subtopic of today, and that is going to be uh, advantages of friction. Advantages, advantages of friction. We are saying that uh, friction in the also prevents motion, but is, an, is, is having an advantages on our on our own side. There are advantages and disadvantages of this friction. Number one, advantage of friction is that uh, it's was a uh, used or advantage when one is walking. When one with, one is walking, you need friction between the shoe sole and the ground. If there is no friction, if there is no friction, then you are going to fall down. You are going to slide and fall down. So when one is walking between the shoe, sole, and the ground. There must be roughness so that you can be able to, 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 to walk. If it's very um, sliding, it's very smooth, you are going to slide and fall down. So that's one. When one is walking, you need friction. Number two, when lighting matches, I showed you that yesterday when lighting matches between between the matchstick matchstick and the matchbox i drew for you yesterday that if you have something like this this is our match matchbox yeah it's always painted brown i don't know whether brown or something like that so that's you you strike here using your match, matchstick and the, and the head there is going to strike on that part. If this part is slippery, if this part is going to be slippery, then the, this matchstick is not going to light. You are not going to get fire from there. Again. So you need it when you are lighting matches so that you can be able to get fire. Number three, you require it when writing. Lan, I'm writing on the board. If this place was slippery, if some oil had been applied on this blackboard, I would not be able to write. I wouldn't be able to write on this blackboard. But because this blackboard is rough, and whatever I'm using, the chalk is so rough, that's why I can be able to write. You also need a, 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 a friction when writing on a book between the pen, the, 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 the point of the pen and, and, and the book. There must be friction. Sometimes you find that uh, maybe accidentally, some oil falls on your book and when it is marking using a red pen you find that it's putting a right but it's not being seen that is because there is no there's no friction between the book and the pen because there's oil so that's one way you can be able to see a friction in action so when writing either on blackboard blackboard or on the book So between the, the, the ball point and the, and, and the book, or between the chalk and the, and the, and the, and the blackboard. Number four, uh, reason why we need, and one advantage of, uh, of, of, of this is uh, during rubbing or erasing. When I'm using this uh, blackboard duster, I'm rubbing. If this part was slippery, I won't be able to, to rub. So between the duster here and the blackboard, there must be friction for me to be able to rub and rub well. So between the duster, the blackboard duster, and the blackboard, and between the rubber, the rubber is also called eraser, in the book. Here you need friction to be able to carry out a, a task function of, uh, of, uh, of rubbing. So the next advantage of friction number five is uh, skating. Lana, you know, I know you know what skating means. You've met them on the, along the roads. Running using those wheels. 
we call them the roller skates. The roller skates, you need friction between the roller skates and the ground. The roller skates, the roller skates and the ground and the road. That's why they cannot, they cannot uh, uh, be able to, to skate during a rain, a rain day. A rain day you, you won't find them on the, on, on the roads. Because at that time, the roads are slippery. Neither can they be able to, uh, to skate on a, on, a, on a muddy road. They cannot be able to do that because it's slippery, it's smooth. So if they try to do that, they are going to fall down. Because the roller skates, the wheels will not be able to capture. The, the road well for them to be very stable. So between the roller skates and the and the road. So we need we need that. But again we have what you call ice skating. You have seen ice skating where you're using also the same same roller skate but now it's, it's on ice. Here we don't need friction learner. We don't require friction in ice skating. But when you're skating generally on, on, on the ground we need we need uh, 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 friction. The next one is um, call number number six in vehicles. We need vehicles need to have uh, friction on the tires. Tires that between between the wheels. That is the tires. Tires and tarmac road. Road. Now I want to explain this because it is going to be there in an exam to be asked what's the importance of that part. I'm going to do something like this and I'm going to show you when you observe well. A tire looks like this, the part that, that uh, comes into contact with the tarmac road. These things we call them treads. You have heard of trading company, trading, trading companies. What is the importance of trading companies? When your father's or your mother's uh, 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 tire gets worn out, they take them to the, to the company, and some trays are made again. They are traced again on the tires. There's very important. There's a, a very big important of this one. This one. The trace increase grip. Increase grip on the road. That is the tarmac road. So these are the parts that grip the road when the vehicle is moving. When the vehicle is moving, these parts are the ones that grab, uh, grip on the on the on the tarmac road. At the same time, you will find that also the tarmac road is not it's not smooth. It is left rough. After the, the, the the company has worked on the road, it, it leaves it very rough. So that this part can grip that rough part of the road and the, the wheel can be able to rotate and move forward. Otherwise, if the roads were very smooth, and then this also is also smooth, there's what we call a skidding, where the, 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 the all spinning, where the, the tire is just moving on, on, on same ground, on the same spot, that is just like my timing. It's not moving forward, just rotating by the same spot. So the importance of this stress, and none of this question comes in the exam. What is the importance of these marked parts? We call them trace. Their work is to increase grip on the road. If you don't find that answer, you'll find this answer. This part increases friction. Does not reduce does not reduce friction, it increases friction. Remember friction is a force that opposes motion. So it increases that force. So that this tire is going to rotate forward. Otherwise if you say it decreases friction, it means that this is going to be very smooth. It's going to be worn out. That is what you mean. So this part has two answers. Either it increases grip on the tarmac rod or increases friction. So for this one to be able to, 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 to move. So that's one area I wanted to, to, to talk about. Then also, when you, are, you apply, you engage brakes. It's what we call the brake pads. 
The brake pads are found inside where we have the rim. There's something we call brake pad there. So when you, you engage brakes, you apply brakes, the brake pads come together to the, to, to the rim. They grab the, the, the rim and then they, they press onto the rim and so the car stops. So if the brake pads are not there, they are not going to increase friction between the, 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 the rim and the pads. So the, the function of the pads is to, to, to bring the, the, the rim together into the pads and be able to stop the car. So Lana, these pads are not for decorations, but they are used to ensure that the car can be able to move forward by gripping well on the tarmac crawl. We have also said that the tarmac roll is also left rough. You can be asked, why is the tarmac roll left rough? When, when, when one is, is, a, is, a, is, is building or, or constructing a road. So that is number six. So this enhances better grip of the, of the road. Then the last one, I was, I've just talked about it. I'll just write it here. Friction also is needed during braking. When one is braking, including yourself, when you are running and you want, somebody is running after you, that is a, the, 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 your friend back, at, back in school, so you are running and you want to negotiate a corner, you first apply brakes using your, 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 your feet. So there is a way you, you twist your feet so that you can be able to grip the, the, the ground and then turn and take another, another direction. If, for example, you are wearing some shoes that do not have grip at the source, you're going to fall down. Before you even negotiate that corner, you're going to fall down. Sam, I, I was always give, been giving that this example of a dog that is running after a after squirrel. And the squirrel uh, negotiates corner very, very sharply, like that. And maybe this dog is not having a tail. There is what you call docking. This is a big terminology. Docking is done to dogs or even cats. This cutting of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the tail, you remove part of the tail. So it's made, it makes a small bit of the, of the tail. That enhances mating and also uh, ensures that uh, you reduce the, the, the possibility of it having diseases. So if you, you find that a dog that is docked and is running after a squirrel, and for example, the squirrel negotiates a, a very sharp corner, you'll find the, the, the dog passing, leaving, leaving the, the squirrel going this direction, it will pass because it's trying to, to, to break. And you know they break using the tail. It's trying to break, but the tail is not there. So it is going to, to, to go a long way before it, it, it breaks and negotiates the corner to follow the squirrel. And that, that way, the squirrel escapes and goes away. So it's very, very important. Even, even birds do break. They break using their tail. Even the fish breaks in the water using their tail. So for them to be able to break, or for, 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 for uh, these uh, uh, vehicles to be able to break, they need to have friction at the brake pads. There must be friction at the brake pads. You, you, for example, you oil the brake pads, you are going to find it very rough because it's going to be very smooth between the brake pad and, 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 and the rim. And so whenever you engage the brakes, it just continues going because there's no friction which is being brought there. So Lana, those are advantages of, of friction. We have mentioned them. Say number one is uh, friction is an advantage in, during walking, lighting matches, writing on the board, rubbing or erasing, skating uh, during uh, when vehicles are moving, and also during braking. Very, very important that we note about that. So in our next lesson, we are going to discuss about uh, disadvantages of friction. Disadvantages of friction. Friction also has disadvantages. So we are going to see that in our next lesson. But before then, I want you to observe the color of your shirts. Different shirts that you have at home. Just observe here at the color. Shirts, I've not said t-shirt, at the shirt. So where we have the collar, on the inner part where it touches the, the neck, just observe there. Observe collars of your shirt. 
after doing the observation record what we have seen and i'll ask you a question tomorrow when we'll be discussing the advantages of friction so until next time nana i wish you all the best stay at home sanitize and ensure that you keep safe thank you and god bless you